card companies. Okay. That they're making these holidays more than what they were. Like, Valentine's Day was never a holiday. I think that's mostly the guys who don't want to get gifts for their wives and forget about Valentine's Day. Yes, but... That's, that's the Jason excuse. No, I totally get gifts for my wife. <laughs> that's the only thing I have to do in this marriage is get her gifts. Uh, I think that's like the rule. Gotcha. But no, what I'm so, all, all I'm wondering, however, is these people bitch complain about how these are like fake holidays because of the, the candy companies and the card companies, whatever. All right. What was life back without holidays? I don't know, we bitch about it, but think about it. Even You know, not that you mention it, I'm kind of thinking like that scene from, uh, <clears throat> what the hell is that movie, uh, The Holy Grail? Uh, oh, Monty Python's Holy Grail. I'm familiar with the movie. And he rolls up, uh, he, he rides up to a guy, and he's like, excuse me, could you tell me the way to the town or whatever? And they're like, who are, who, who are you? And he's like, must be a king. How do you know? He's the only one not covered in shit. No. Like, it just reminds me of, like, that whole scene. Right. Like, I, I just imagine everybody was covered in shit, and it was really sucky, and no one ever got a day off. Like, that's basically what life was like before holidays. Oh, no. I was like, wait, 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 why is it so bad? <laughs> because that's what life was like before holidays. Okay. Could, could you imagine working, you know, like, the next ten years <laughs> and never getting time off? No days off for you. That's it. No days off. No, I'd probably... As a matter of fact, the only day you get off is Sunday to go to church. But church is like all day. And then you have to come home and spend time with the family. Did you have to believe in order to go? Or no, you just, like you, you just have to. Like, you you were forced. You, you know, like forced churches? You know, it was like growing up Catholic. So forced churches? Yeah. That's not fun. You, you didn't have to believe or want to go, but you were forced to. That's pretty shitty. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I think of. Uh, not that you mentioned it. Like, not that the church is shitty. <laughs> per se. Uh, but yeah, that's what I think about now. Like, just everybody working like terrible jobs and never having time off except for rich people. Rich guys. Who, who, who's that? Must be a millionaire. How do you know? It's not covered in shit. Yeah, this is a good way of looking at it. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine no holidays. I mean, could, think about how many times, right? You're having a horrible week, horrible month, right? And you're just looking forward to the next holiday. You're like, oh, this holiday's coming up. I'm going to have three days off. It's going to be awesome. Why don't they just give us random three days off then instead of just making it a holiday? Nah, because fuck you. That seems to be what my job says. <laughs> fairly often. Actually, I got lucky today. My uh, my, my company once a year does... Uh, I, think, I don't know if it's like worldwide, but it's national... <laughs> Go home and spend time with your family day. Go home uh, early and spend time with your family day. Right. Which I think is, I think it's, I think it's across many places because I'm going somewhere tomorrow where the woman was like, "Oh, I got a half day tomorrow," so it might be that might be the case. Well, that's pretty cool. But long story short, I got to cut out early today to spend time with my family. Well, you know what they say is that my uh, destiny family. Not what fear yeah, destiny. You know what they? What, 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 it's um, a statistic somewhere that Americans work just a shit ton of hours. <clears throat> All right. That they spend, we, as Americans, we spend more time at work than we do at home. Yeah, I mean, that's no. Um, it is no. Than, than any other country, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that, that we. Any other country. No, any other country. I think China's got a pretty no, good handle well, on it. Well, well, maybe China, because you literally have to live in the factory you're working at. But, so. but, like, I'm talking about almost any other country. Yeah, let's go with that. Like, nearly every other country. We put in a lot more hours and do a lot more overtime and, and extra work. And sometimes I wonder though, are we really working really hard or we just don't want to spend time with our families? Well, like, well, if you asked our father, I really don't want to go home right now. I'm going to do a few more hours. I can't tell you how many times like, I've had jobs. You have to do a 40 hour week. And like the first two hours of every, of every day, it's like, I'm not really doing anything right now. I don't even know why I'm here. Yeah. I could have stood home, came in two hours later, and, and get the, the same, same amount of work done. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, in my last job, it was often where I found myself like, oh, man, I opened the store today. Time to go home early. And it's like, there's nothing for me to do at home. <laughs> if I, at least if I stay here, I can make more money. Yeah, yeah. But that's just it. It's like, the first. let's say the first hour. Let's be, you know, generous. Because I, I say it's the first two hours. So let's say the first hour of every job. You've ever worked. Most jobs. You do no work. It's Wall Street. 
Okay. And get going pretty early. But let's just say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like, not get going, but actually doing productive work. Yeah. The first hour is just wasted. You're not really doing anything productive. And the last hour of the day, you're not doing anything productive. So that's two hours, right? Right. And then let's say you, you take your break and you get your 15 and, 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 a, and a half. Let's say you get an hour and a half break. Right. How much work are you really doing in an eight hour day? That's like three and a half hours of an eight hour day, no work. So here's my question. Since most of my days are three hour days. No, no work. <laughs> At all, <laughs> just nothing. I mean, well, I, I get up, I go outside, I come right back inside. <laughs> That's my whole day. I drive to work three hours, and then I work three hours. That's six hours. 